Hello friends! We have a new experiment next in line. What do you think this might be? Well, if I pour water into this glass, will it flow into another or will it remain in this? Will the whole overflow or only a part? Again, there are many questions to which we will find answers today. But look carefully! So, we will make small holes in the cups, uh, which we have of the same size, and we're gonna make it that way. One hole in the first cup, two in the middle, and again, one in the last one. And I'm gonna show you how. I'm gonna use some scissors and carefully do that. And great. Check this out. We insert the tubes into them and then glue them with plasticine so that the water does not leak. But first thing first, you take the plastic tube, you insert, I'm gonna try to insert it. And it's just like that. We measure and then we cut. I guess we'll cut them in half. Yeah. And you need one tube and then another tube. Good. So we will use plasticine now. Um, I'll use my favorite today's color, red, and try to connect tubes between. And repeat the exact same process for each of them. And to make this experiment even more fun, we're gonna use colored water. Um, I have some colorful here, please, and pour it right there. Now, we're gonna pour water into one glass. See, the water gradually fills the cups until the liquid level in the same, or is it the same as in the cups? But let's check it out. So they evened up, right? And then I'm still gonna pour in the first glass. And this all happens actually uh, because in each of the communicating vessels is the same pressure of the Earth atmosphere that acts on water. And we have our own cups and there are communicating vessels. They're connected by tubes. Well, the kettle works the same way. This is also a communicating vessel. No matter how we tilt the kettle, the water in it in, and in the spout will always be at the same level. Friends, did you actually know that communicating vessels are considered also the oceans and seas in the whole world? After all, they all they are intercommunicated by straits. So, Surprisingly, communicating vessels surround us everywhere. We have even more interesting information and experiments in our channel. Subscribe and don't forget to share the video. And let's be friends. See you next time.